Okay, Virgo, it's your turn. Um, I just started shuff uh, shuffling the deck. I got done shuffling the deck. And what I saw was the chariot. So you might be traveling soon or you're dealing with a cancer. Um, I also see that as Aquarius because they're pretty straightforward whenever it comes to shit. And they're willing to go get stuff done, all that kind of stuff. Hold on, Chris. And then I have the Two of Cups right here, which is a relationship that you, whether through, they, it's like through thick and thin, uh, night and day, you kind of always think about this person. You always want something to do with them. Um, it's like you feel the connection that's there. And this is a, it, like if you're not with this person, it's a soulmate. It's telling you to make the effort. Finances and career. Capricorn came up with the same middle card. Um, but it's like, make the effort to build your finances. I don't know if you're an entrepreneur or something of the sort. Or you're just stuck in a codependent relationship that you can't get out of right now. But it's telling me that you need to make the effort and things can change. And the reason why that you feel so strongly towards this person is because it's a past life relationship. Shit. Okay, four of pentacles come back. It's like, okay, um, you might have people that are giving you money or asking you for money or something of the sort, and you're trying to save it right now. Um, you're not really giving anyone emotion. You're really not... Um, giving them any finances, anything of this sort. You're just trying to go about your day-to-day -day and trying to make an effort to build yourself where you can. And I have the Ten of Swords right here um, in the upright and then the Ace of Swords. So somebody broke your heart, possibly used you for money, or it's one of those um, you're holding back emotions because this person actually took so much of your time and energy that you can't really deal with them. And the uh, Ace of Swords kind of tells me that that's a new beginning after this heartbreak. And you're trying to hold back while still trying to talk to this person because they might have been the one that hurt you or you were recently hurt before them. Um, we have the Knight of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, so the person that you are dealing with or you are doing this, it's like you're holding back from making a offer of love because you have options. You might be dealing with um, a King of Wands, a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you might be watching out for some of these options. Um, it kind of feels like your money is going everywhere else but to you. We also have a, a very manipulative energy here. Or you just can't get out of your thought patterns enough to lay down the burden whenever it comes down to this. It feels like you're working very hard. But you're still confused or you're causing confusion in someone else's life um, or vice versa. But it's kind of saying make the effort to kind of pull back is what it's saying. And then finances and career. Somebody might not make as much as you and there might be a choice in between lovers. But at the same time, it's like. Somebody is popping up just like your ex did, or it is your ex, and they're doing the exact same thing. They, um, Your thought patterns are towards codependency, like you might think you need someone in order to survive, or you might feel as if you're emotionally codependent on this person, you need to talk to them. Otherwise, like, shit just goes fucking south. And they are, like, it could be codependency as in a support system, as in someone has addictions. And the more they lay into this negative thought pattern, it kind of makes me feel like um, it's going to keep reoccurring. Like, you have so many options right here where it's, um, you've manifested them. But you don't re realize that without you raising your vibration, 
to be out of this burdensome state right here. You're manifesting people that are either going to cause you burden or it's like they're on the same frequency that you are. So if you're feeling like shit trying to get away from your problems by going towards your addiction, then it's like that's all you're going to get. It's going to keep coming at you that way. And I don't think you realize it. And that's what the confusion, I believe, is, is because you're causing confusion within yourself. You're not willing to really change at the same time. But, let's see. Which one is this again? We have the higher font in reverse. So this could have been a marriage or it's just telling you that you are basically taking yourself back to a childlike mind state and it's kind of like, oh, well, I don't want to do this again. Like you get bucked off of a fucking horse and it's like I'm scared of horses for the rest of my fucking life. And you need to go back to that. Like you need to go back uh, backwards. Um, but Because apparently you found out some secrets and there's no love here. Um, either that or it could be a loss of a love. And that's your tower moment. This one also reminds me of the chariot too. It's Aries and Scorpio energy, but I also see it as like, um, Cancer Aquarius too, because of these two, like with the star card, that's the light. But anyways, you're going to get some messages where it's going to take you back. Like, there's going to be something that comes out about uh, someone. Like, you realize that you've lost someone because of the way you are or the way you were thinking to an extent, and you're not willing to change that just yet. And it feels like you have a choice in between the two. You're still willing to, like, kind of put a friendship to it. But whenever it comes down to it, it kind of seems like someone actually stopped communication as well. Trying to. Um, and then we have Capricorn, past life relationship. This is a toxic situation that you're trying to get away from. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright now. But the sooner you get away from this kind of toxic energy that is um, manipulating or manipulating your way of thinking you could be dealing with a gemini um virgo that's your card another gemini taurus aries scorpio and then we have capricorn and then of course cancer and aquarius like i said it could be another water uh it could be a water sign as well but we also have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So this is like somebody taking more than they are giving. Or this is what you've been doing. It's taking more from a situation and more than giving to it. And I don't think you quite realize that yet. But it's going to pop up because it's going to turn into a burden for you. It's going to, like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be... Um, like people taking from you it doesn't have to necessarily be people manipulating you or anything like that it could just be the way you're thinking like everybody's gonna turn out like this i'm gonna lose a shit ton of fucking money because i'm always the one giving and that's where this uh four of pinnacles come in together that would be the five of pinnacles like leaving people out in the cold because they are just taking and it's like they've uh, they've possibly said they were going to give you money back, but they never did. So you have this constant battle with these people of codependent people. And they might have lost their job or something of the sort. Yeah, there's here's Leo. And then the death card in reverse. Yeah, you're refusing to end something. And it's causing a delay in your happiness. And... There's a past life relationship here waiting on you. It's just you have to kind of get your shit together and actually think about yourself within this. It's like you got to go back. I feel like I, that's probably what I'll name this. You have to go back to see what's wrong with the now. Is kind of how I feel. Like, go back 
to and think about your karma. The people that hurt you, the people that took from you, that caused you to be so untrustworthy, um, the people that basically took advantage of you over and over again. And you will find this sort of deal where you can be friends. You can still talk to people. Just don't let them take over your entire life and your well-being and how you think. Because a lot of that can get like fucked up I know I like I was a victim of that myself like I hung around uh, not saying that they were bad but we were all in this kind of mentality where we're fucking low life dude and I'm gonna keep on being that way because this is where we're happy and then you realize that oh most of them were just taking advantage of me oh most of them really weren't there for me oh wait it's like, I can't move forward with this. I kind of got to release this toxicity, stop fucking dealing with everybody else who's here to fuck me, basically. And maybe you'll end up making a new friend within this. But it's basically, yeah, go back. Because you're, uh, you're like, ruining your future relationships. Like, people that offer you love, you have so many choices of, like, friendships, relationships, all that kind of stuff that you have this negativity around you that you can't see clearly. Whenever you can't, uh, whenever you do, there will be an offer. There will be messages. Um, it could be involving a child too. Um, this is a page of cups. It could be a, a child water sign. Um, alrighty guys, we'll talk to you later.